Hey guys, Jeff here with EDC Leather. What we're going to be working on today is a pancake holster for a Glock 17. So, things that you're going to need. Of course, we're going to need our pattern. We're going to need us a little bit of 8 ounce veg tan. We need a knife, a scratch all, pencil or pen, just some sort of marking utensil, a pair of wing dividers, an edger, and either a slot punch or a round punch so that you can punch these out and then cut them later. So those will be the things that you need. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to trim out our pattern. So what we'll do is we're just going to follow right along these lines here. I'm just going to cut it out. And you could do this with a pair of scissors if you'd like. Okay, so once we get this trimmed out, what we're looking at is our different pieces here is we've got our wings, our sweat shield, our body, and then this is a reinforcement panel that we'll show you guys how to use later, but not today. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our piece of 8 ounce vegetable sand leather, we're going to lay our pattern on here. And today we're going to cut a right handed holster. So we're going to take it and sit it down. This is the back side on the right. You want to do a left you just flip the image we're going to lay it down on our vegetable tan here we're just going to trace it out now you can do this on the hair side if you'd like with a scratch all it is a bit hard to see on camera so we're going to do it with the pencil here on the back today I'm just going to trace this out And then now we've got our back panel, our whole piece. We're going to cut our sweat shield off. Okay, we'll save that for later. So now it's our front piece. So this piece is going to be reverse of our other piece. So we're just going to lay it on here. We're going to trace it out. Okay, now we have our front and back panel. So up next, we're gonna cut these apart just so they're a little easier to manage. Okay, and we're gonna fine cut them. There's our back panel. We'll do the same thing to our front panel. Now we have our front panel and our back panel. They're going to go together like this. So what we're going to do next, set these aside, we're going to get our pattern back out. And what we're looking at is these lines right here. This right here. This is our stitch lines and our glue lines. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down this inside line. Cut that piece completely off. We're going to do the same thing with this side. We need those. We're going to set our body aside. So what we're going to do, take our back panel, take 
We're going to lay this side on this piece that matches up. Take our marking utensil and we'll trace this line onto here. Same thing right here. We're going to line this up because here in a minute we're going to put our glue inside of these lines. right across there and we're going to do the same thing to our front panel all right so we're going to set these aside because we're going to save them we're going to need them later so now we got our front and our back. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take just a little bit of glue here. What we like to use here is just master's glue. And we're gonna glue, be very careful to keep it inside of our glue lines. side and do it again. We're going to do our best to get it all the way up to the line but not to go over it. Now that we've got our glue on here, once it's good and flashed, we're going to take and we're going to mate up our two panels as perfectly as we can so that we can minimize sanding in the next step. pressure to get everything to stick. All right, next step, we're going to go sand it so that we can make these lines made up perfectly. All right guys, so in this stage, we're going to try to check out our imperfections from cutting with a belt sander. Just knocking it down so that it's even, nice and smooth. Just want to go ahead and move around and finish the other side. All right, guys. So now this is all sanded up, all the way around, nice and smooth and pretty. So up next, so we're going to take the edger to it. It's just a number three craft tool edger. We're just going to come through with all these edges just to get a nice bevel on them. And when we've done our front, we want to make sure to do the front edge of this sweat shield as well. We're going to flip it over and repeat.
All right, so now we got a nice bevel all the way around the entire edge. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our two pieces of our pattern, our two ears, and we're gonna take and lay them, and match them up on here. Now this before on the inside was our glue line. It now becomes our stitch line for our inside. So we're gonna just take our scratch all. We're not gonna go all the way up to the top edge because we're not gonna stitch all the way up there. So we're just gonna come down, make a nice stitch line, stop it short, okay? <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is I have a large slot punch. If you don't have a slot punch, all you need to do is take a circle punch here and a circle punch here, knock them out, and then you can use your knife to cut them out. So we're just gonna take Right now we're just marking them. We're not gonna knock them out yet. Just give that a good bit of pressure. So now we got our indention on there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Line our pattern up like it belongs. We're gonna make our stitch line. And we're gonna take our slot punch Line it up, make our mark, and there we go. So now we're done with those. Next up, to get our outer stitch lines, we're going to take a pair of wing dividers. We're going to set them at an eighth of an inch wide so that we have an eighth inch stitch line. We're just going to match them up, just going to run them around the outside to give us our outside stitch line. We'll stop right there where that one matches up. There we go. So now we got our back panel, our front panel, our stitch lines, and our slots. So after this, it goes on to get stitched. It'll be the next step. All right, guys. So up next is going to be stitching, and you can hand stitch or you can machine stitch, whatever you have. Once we get it stitched, we're going to knock out the slot holes, and then from there, you have a flat pack. And you guys can see how to finish a flat pack in our other videos. We'll post a link below. And of course, if you would, press the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you need to, leave us a comment below or find us on Facebook and we'll answer any questions that you have.